Chun-Yu's GQ dark calf skin coat looks so attractive, with a striped shirt plus printed tie inside, stunning and popular. Consistently toward the year's end, there is a perpetual stream of different celebrations and exercises. No, the recognizable GO celebration is not far off. On the evening of December 15th, different superstars and Reuters spilled out consistently, and the studios likewise buckled down in a steady progression. Big names occasion styling, among them, Chang Yi's studio delivered a gathering of Chang Yi's most recent styling photographs, we should take a look. In the look posted by the studio, Chang Yi is wearing a dark calf skin coat and strolling through the roads and back streets of the city. With his flawless appearance and great looks, he is essentially attractive and stylish, and his remarkable demeanor is significantly more it's hard not to see that each photograph is a legitimate design blockbuster with both visual sense and attractive full stamps. In Chen Yu's outfit, he picked a dark calf skin coat with a striped shirt. Among the normal shirts and suits, Chen Yu's calf skin coat plus shirt looks invigorating and brings a full newness. The cowhide coat for the outside is dark, the variety is exemplary and adaptable, and in this chilly winter, the calfskin coat is likewise extremely viable in keeping out the cold. The internal shirt picks the fundamental shade of blue, with a striped plan, which is basic yet relaxed and hot. Attach the button of the shirt to the top and coordinate it with a printed tie, which not just has a feeling of custom for going to the occasion, yet in addition doesn't look serious, however uncovers a touch of light and vivacious special visualization. A couple of dark pants and dark calfskin shoes on the lower body, basic and straightforward, get the fix of the shirt into the pants, while working on the waistline, it can likewise impeccably set off Chang Yi's long legs, particularly in the couple of photographs in the city among them, Chang Yi might walk or stand, his sets of predominant long legs are exceptionally conspicuous, immediately standing out for everybody. The colored hair tone, after cautious consideration, increasingly more brings out Chang Yi's dazzling facial elements, which is exceptionally attractive. It appears to be that Chang Yi isn't just eminent in acting abilities, yet in addition has an excellent desire for dressing. The style of an occasion isn't lost, and it is brimming with design. Chang Yi's GQ dark calf skin coat looks so attractive, with a striped shirt plus printed tie inside, impeccable and trendy. In this elegant occasion, what is your take of Chang Yi's look? 02. Zhao Lucy is really the eliminator of props, stuffing food and getting her own bites seconds after the following show, the team will be overpowered. Known as the goddess of sweet pet show, Zhao Lucy's theatrics explodes, from long tunes in, how about we attempt the world to Zinhan Splendid, every one of them are hop ventures and informal. On the 8th, Shanayan, which was authoritatively sent off, was additionally uncovered individually alongside the presence of the featuring bunch, which made fans anticipate it. Be that as it may, as well as acting, Zhao Lucy is really a standard foodie. Not exclusively will he clear a wide range of food in the prop bunch, yet he will likewise carry his own snacks to impart to everybody. No big surprise he has the moniker Prop Terminator. Zhao Lucy once said, when you are blissful and sincerely stable consistently, you will be fat and ready for anything. However long you are full, you will have energy to begin in the future. Despite the fact that she is slim and has a sensitive face before the screen, as a matter of fact, he frequently sees it through eating something to fulfill yourself. You can see from the Reuters picture of the as of late sent off Shen Yin that she didn't miss the props little tomatoes on the set. I saw her moving joyfully with the props in her grasp. She truly values an opportunity to eat and rest. From numerous authority shooting goodies, it very well may be seen that Zhao Lucy frequently eats props with relish on the set, whether it is coincidentally Got Love, Fionlay Section 1, Spring Blossoms and Harvest Time Moon, We Should Attempt the World is likewise a goodie remembered for Zing Han Splendid, you can see our foodie day-to-day -day existence with next to no weight. What's more, from these in the background goodies, it very well may be seen that Zhao Lucy sticks to the possibility that food is the vital need of individuals, and you need to eat to the point of having the option to work. In the event that you don't eat these props, it is a waste. On the off chance that you don't require them, pass on them to or to process. Exclamation mark. It's simply that she may sporadically eat bland bubble vegetables, overprepared sticks, or unpalatable natural products, like little tomatoes. Right now, the camera will catch Zhao Lucy covertly letting out the food, or inkling scowling yet gulping hard Zhao Lucy's food-loving personality is fully revealed in the brilliant stars. Not only is she eating when she is acting, but she is also replenishing calories when she is playing. 
She will even introduce the props of the crew and share them with other actors, bring your own small biscuits and cakes, and generously distribute them to other actors and crew members to taste together. It is an odd and out prop terminator and greedy little princess. Exclamation mark. In addition to being a snack guy, Zhao Lucy is also a little naughty. In the behind the scenes footage of the brilliant stars, she accidentally ate a very sour orange. After spitting it out, she pretended to be calm and said to Wu Lei, it's so sweet, which made Wu Lei's facial features so sour after eating it together. When Zhao Lucy was filming 3000 Crows, she was asked by the crew, will you really eat the props? She replied, I really know how to eat them, so I don't waste them. But when it came to fans, they said, would you eat them? Will it overwhelm the props group? Zhao Lucy responded, I won't ask for it especially, and I won't say that you give me some more, and I can eat whatever I have, and I don't pick at all. 03. The wind blows Penelia acting ranking, Sun Jin, Wang Chang Chang are surprising, Zhao Liang successfully transformed. The wind blows Penelia ushered in the finale, whether it is quality or popularity, it is a double harvest. 230,000 people scored a high score of 8.4, and Zhao Liang successfully transformed. Whether it is the vivid restoration of the background of the 1990s, the introduction of nostalgic songs, or the carefulness of the clothing, the retro style is stylish and also shows the characteristics of the times. There are wonderful business battles between the five steel tycoons, as well as the sweet and mature love between two powerful combinations. They can engage in business together, and they can redeem each other and encourage each other positively. There is also the friendship of the steel triangle who share wheel and row, from collecting scrap steel to earn the first pot of gold, to starting a small company and opening a steel factory. No matter how big the company is, they will always have three shareholders. A good plot is also inseparable from the wonderful performances of the actors. The performances of the actors in the whole drama are very exciting, and none of them are hook pulls. Now go back and take stock of the performance of the actors in the play. 1. Play the roles of the group Staley, Fin Yu, Huo Hao, Wu Jianj, Qiu Bizheng, Guo Kitten, Gao Yujin. Fin Yu, played by Ren Zhong, is honest, honest, unprofessional, desireless, and a Buddhist boss. Ren Zhong's image fits the character very well, but because the character doesn't have much room to play, his acting skills are mediocre and he didn't bring many surprises. Tong Xiaoki, played by Huo Hao, is bohemian and full of gangster spirit. He has been in prison, so his aura will not be too strong, and he only listens to the boss Su Bengsha. Huo Hao's image fits well with the role, but the completion of the performance can only be regarded as qualified. Under the pressure of many powerful factions, he is not outstanding. It may be that Huo Hao has played too many similar roles, which is somewhat stereotyped. On the contrary, it is not as brilliant as Zhao Liang, Sun Jin, and Wang Chang Chang who are beside her. Wu Jianj, played by Liu Wei, as the big brother in the five-person group, has the same desire for control as the parents' powerful. Liu Wei played Wu Jianj's early self-respecting old school, smooth, caring for everyone on the surface, but in fact he valued his position as the big brother most. The true nature of a businessman who can speak soft words for the benefit, and turn his face immediately if he disagrees. From the upright secretary Wan to the profit-oriented Wu Jianj, Liu Wei has a strong ability to shape characters. Worthy of being an old drama. Fen Jianyi, playing Qiu Bizheng, makes people love and hate. His biggest weakness is his greed for money, so that he has no principles and bottom lines. For money, he hugs Wu Jianj's thigh tightly. When something goes wrong, he is faster than anyone else. Full stop. But because of their low level of education, they are always crushed by people with high IQs. From Guo Kitten, Su Bangsha to Kin Fangbang, they have suffered a lot. Qiu Bizheng, played by Fang Jiayi, is vivid, and sometimes a little silly and cute. He visited Guo Kitten a few times, and actually performed the brotherly relationship of sympathy and sympathy. Song Zai, the Guo Kitten he plays is very surprising, a good student who is good at calculating, vicious, and likes to do some small tricks. He can always handle Qiu Bizhang with ease, and make Qiu Bizhang continue to be inseparable from him at the same time. If he hadn't been in prison for several years, it is estimated that Su Bangsha would have been tortured by him. Song Zai has always been able to play villains very well. From Icebreaker to The Wind Blows Penelia, he fully integrates himself into the role and is a very good actor. Kao Yujin, 
played by Kay Lan, was controversial at the beginning. He was so excited about his daughter who ran away from home that he lost control of his expression, and then gradually relaxed and gradually became better. The grandeur and justice of a female leader are awe-inspiring, and the overall situation is vividly interpreted. The lines are very stable, and people feel very substituting when they speak, 